Well, welcome back. Now, the Central Bank of Nigeria, NIN, BVN Linkage Directive offers a much broader sense of increasing the number of financially included people, especially if it is very much strictly implemented. Once this is achieved, scammers who previously relied on stolen information to conduct fraud and transactions will face a bigger challenge. Uh, joining me now to discuss further on some of the peculiarities and issues is the National President of the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria, Amben, Fasasi Sharafuddin Atonda. Many thanks for joining us, Fasasi. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, my host and uh, viewers across the country. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, uh, let's talk about uh, the BVN NIN linkage. Uh, you know, the, the deadline is almost here. And um, what's the current situation as we speak? Yes, of course, uh, uh, because of the fact that um, uh, it's actually uh, one of uh, very good policy to ensure sanity in our payments uh, industry. Uh, there is a need for us to have uh, sufficient um, KYC, uh, know your customer, uh, uh, in form of identity, um, national identity, and BVN. They are very critical uh, to protect our payment system from, from you know, a lot of hazards. So um, we are in total support of that. But the current situation now is um, the, the, the challenge of access points. Uh, there are no much provisions for where you know the masses of our people can have access you know to those services of uh, whether fresh enrollment of, of din or fresh enrollment of bvn and also uh in terms of uh, the the modification of 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 the two databases uh because we have this understanding that um uh, as of today only the commercial bank branches are enabled to modify or uh, you know verify bvn uh, across the country and um, we are aware that um, over 300 local governments in nigeria are without uh, 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 commercial banks branches so uh, that will be that will be a very serious work and we can see that the banking you know, are becoming crowded already you know before before it becomes a thing of um, a stampede at the banking halls uh, you know uh, the sorry situation that we experienced during the cash crisis, there is a need for, for us to come and, and think ahead of, of time and provide solution. And that is what um, uh, AMBAN, Association of My Money and Bank Agents in Nigeria, uh, is currently embarking on. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about that now for a bit. Uh, let's try and understand that in a circular that I've seen so far, uh, you've talked about um, Neighborhood Financial Inclusion Center. And uh, you said it's um, bringing critical financial services closer to the excluded communities in Nigeria. Let's talk about that and the need for it. Why is it um, you know, imperative right now? Okay. Uh, we, we have observed that uh, uh, we need to support the Central Bank of Nigeria uh, because most of our regulators uh, underestimate uh, the complexity of uh, Nigeria. Uh, you know, what we are seeing on the data is what we are, we are working with. Uh, majority of people are not aware that uh, if you are seeing uh, 200 million population on the database, uh, that is telling you that the actual population uh, is actually more than 200 million. So if we are looking at um, about um, 135 million excluded, you know, Nigerian, uh, you should know if you are having that on the database, you should know in reality you have uh, times two of that in reality. So um, anytime we are we are rolling out these policies, we need to also uh, put into consideration, you know, how to cover for those uh, gaps because uh, most uh, data are not actually captured, you know, formally. A lot of people are in the informal sectors, so we need to have that understanding. So um, CBN has announced a thirty day, a, a sort of a thirty days ultimatum for uh, over 134 million, you know, uh, bankable Nigeria uh, to to get uh, their account uh, with BVN and um, over 200 million Nigerians uh, with uh, NIN uh, should also uh, get their NIN before the deadline. S, S, 
their accounts will be locked. And, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, when it has to do with money, people, you know, being restricted from having access to their money, uh, it will be, it will create a sort of crisis. So, Amban uh, is, you know, thinking ahead and jumping and creating additional access point. We are proposing to have um, over additional 1,000 access points across the excluded local government in Nigeria, uh, where uh, we will create a sort of an hub, a neighborhood financial inclusion hub. Uh, instead of Nigerians to be looking for where will I do NIN after finishing that, where will I do BBN, uh, then uh, if I have a SIM or number problem, where will I do my I mean, SIM, SIM uh, swap or SIM linking? So we want to bring all the needed uh, uh, services to the neighborhood of Nigeria, at least one in the local government. Uh, so that is the idea about neighborhood financial inclusion okay. and uh, to support the existing infrastructure. Okay, so right now the question. Yeah. Now the question would be: uh, This is a great plan, laudable as it is. Now, so what have you done, and what um, um, feedbacks are you getting from the authorities that is, and uh, you know the the NIPS and the NIMC as regards this, uh, including Amban in uh, in Robins and all of that. And then, how would you uh, tackle maybe if the issues arise, uh, issues of um, maybe. Uh, some agents or so who may want to just uh, do some sort of um, practices that might not really be in tandem with what the goal is um, intended to achieve in the first place. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, in terms of uh, partnerships uh, with uh, enablers, uh, if you look at the uh, list of our participants uh, in this project, we see financial inclusion as uh, a stakeholder and an industry agenda not a bank's agenda, not a bank's alone agenda. Because uh, for financial inclusion, you actually require the services of all the, the stakeholders. Uh, uh, financial literacy will need to come in. Uh, the NGOs that are specified, uh, that are, are focused on that, we have to come in and enlighten the people. It's not about opening bank account. There are a lot of bank accounts that have been opening, I mean, opened and Almost about 60% of them are in that. So how do you, first of all, you know, educate the people, the need for them to uh, uh, be included in the banking sector? So we are bringing them. Then you need uh, the services of telecommunication uh, uh, companies, uh, the, you know, the big shots in this world, so that uh, they can get uh, their SIM. If there is a problem on their BBN, uh, maybe they have lost their SIM. To replace the SIM, you need, you know, the telecommunication, uh, you know, companies. We are reaching out to most of them to come and participate in this. Uh, we are, we are also a partner to NCC to ensure that uh, we are able to work together. Uh, to NIPS, we have had uh, our initial meeting with NIPS uh, in conjunction with all other critical stakeholders, and uh, we are also reaching out to them to enable most of those uh, critical services. Uh, CBN, we are also interfacing with them. Uh, we, are, uh, we have strong collaboration with CIBN, Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, uh, who are also certifying, you know, agents to participate in this uh, project. Because this project is not for just any, you know, agent. They must be professionally trained agents. They must be agents that knows that they can lose their certification if anything goes wrong. So that will lead, take me to that your answer of uh, security. Uh, how are we going to ensure professionalism? So first of all, uh, uh, we, are, we are starting with uh, CIBS certification, uh, and the training is starting this uh, uh, Thursday, uh, and that will be handled by uh, the uh, and, I mean, key guys in the uh, CI, I mean, CIBN uh, and also the NIPS. Right. So all uh, industry associations are part of this. So yeah. we are starting with that, yeah. and also NIPS with also pre train. And the beauty of technology is that uh, once a technology is, is programmed to request for certain document before you can amend any database, then it makes it easier to control. All right. it, because nobody can override the system. Mm. So um, it is as easy as technology-driven uh, processes, uh, oh. uh, backed up by certified and well-trained agents. All right, uh, I want you to share with us uh, about uh, some of the NF 
I see goals that uh, you mentioned uh, so far. You talked about uh, achieving about 24 million bank transfers, uh, 60 million BVN. Can you just uh, throw more light on that? Yes, as of today, uh, out of um, about 134 million bankable Nigerians, we only have about 59.9 BVN. So uh, we have a, a gap of about 74 uh, million Nigerians excluded without BVN. So uh, that is the gap we need to cover in 30 days. And the current uh, uh, infrastructure, the bank branches today, uh, with their procedures, with the way they work, they cannot meet up with that uh, uh, gap. So um, part of what we are, we, are, we, are, we are programmed to do is to roll out about a minimum of 100 agents per local government to come to that hub, you know, and deliver minimum about 50 to 100, you know, BVN registration daily. And when you do that for the next 30 days, you are achieving uh, about 40 million, I mean, 60 million, uh, you know, BVN in addition to to what uh, uh, you know you have currently, that will close the gap of the 74 million a year. The same thing, NIN, we are also projecting, because as of today, uh, uh, NIN, NIMC has actually disconnected all private partners, front-end partners, they call it, since August last year. That means as of today, they are only relying on their uh, state offices and the local government offices to carry out enrollment, which are actually not enough, and they cannot meet up uh, with that gap in NIN. As of today, we have about 104 NIN enrollments in Nigeria uh, out of, uh, you know, estimated population of 200 million. That means we have about 96 million gap that we need to also cover in the next 30 days. So uh, we are uh, working with uh, NIMC to to see how they can key into this program and enable our trained and certified agent to deliver these services. And mm -hmm. uh, you will agree with me that um, uh, agents, the capacity of agents to achieve this in, in little time is not in doubt. Uh, if you remember, before 2021, uh, uh, for NIN, Nigeria, Nigeria government's uh, infrastructure through NIMC was able to deliver only about 45 million enrollment. Uh, in 10 years, more than 10 years of their existence. And when they involved us in 2021, uh, in the, within the space of two years, we are able to, to move uh, the figure from 45 to 100, and 100 million, you know, in, in enrollment. And also when NIPS involve um, uh, agents across location, they are able to also scale from about 10 to 20 million enrollment, you know, to, to 59, uh, where they are today. So um, our capacities, our spread, our ability, right. and our smartness uh, okay. is not in doubt to deliver on this figure. All right, I'm sure there are no in doubt about it. Let's try and um, streamline it very well so we can get more clarity. You talked about um, stationed and mobile uh, way approaches. Yes. Uh, can you tell mm -hmm. us uh, about um, yes, those yes. approaches very quickly? Uh, we have, because we are in the informal sector, we have the understanding and, uh, you know, uh, dynamics that exist in the informal sector. Uh, today, the disadvantage of bank branches is uh, the traders, the artisans, they find it very difficult to leave uh, their markets and uh, move to the bank and queue to enroll. So uh, we want to take that neighborhood, apart from the fact that we have stations, which are for the working customers, people that have the time, to come to that hub. Uh, we will also take it to them. Oh. So that means you will not have reason not to have uh, NIN or BVN enrolled or tied to your account. Right. We will use mobile van to go and cover village markets and also uh, all the local trainings, you know, of a particular local government. We want to enter the interlands. Right. These are what we have been doing over the years, as oh. we can see, to do it. All right, we wish you all the best in the approach, and um, by so doing, um, Nigerians will be uh, financially included, and of course, on the issue of um, security and theft uh, and frauds that, that have plagued um, the banking and financial sector uh, for quite a while will actually be stem, you know, in the board. Thank you so much for your time, and thanks for what you're thank doing you. at Amber. Thank you for having me. All right, my That's guest has been the Thank national you. president of the Association of um, Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria, Amber. Uh,
FASA C are turned down. And together, we're looking at uh, financial inclusion, the need for, you know, uh, to bring it back closer to the people as uh, even as the deadline approaches. That's the size of the show for today. I am Justin Akadonyo. Many thanks for being there.